Who's this Ricky Mathis chump anyway? I don't know, but his fans sure seem to like him. He can't keep his lame pretty boy single on the shelf. cashmere belly sweater tomorrow? Sure, that's what best friends are for. Hey, what about me? Don't be crazy, Alex. We can't possibly wear Sam's sweater at the same time. We'll totally stretch it out. No, Clover, I meant, aren't I your best friend too? Aww. Well, of course you are, silly. And that's why I'm gonna borrow your leopard print sandals tomorrow. <gasps> Clover, what is it? What's wrong? Yeah, what's with all the drool? I think, I think, I'm in love. Must find out who he is. Hi, I'm Clover. Is it me, or does Clover fall in love more often than Mandy maxes out her credit card? What do you say we go out after school? I'll even let you buy me a non-fat latte. You will? Okay. Sorry, Clover. Oh. Damon's already got plans after school. He's going to the mall with yours truly. Oh, yeah, that's right. The mall. <gasps> well, no big deal. I was only trying to do him a favor because he's new around here. Hmm. Clover! Don't worry, Clover. I'll buy you a non-fat latte after school. Besides, wouldn't you rather hang out with us than some dim-witted musician? Yeah, I guess so. Only, I just can't help huh? liking Damon. Call me crazy, but I just have this thing for musicians. I've got to find a way to get his attention off of Mandy and on to me. So nice of you girls to drop in. Nice for some of us. Ricky Mathis? Never heard of him. And that's because he's an overnight musical sensation. In fact, as of today, he's only released one single, the optimistically titled Rock Legend. Which makes it even more unsettling that there have been reports of similar occurrences all around the globe. Something's up, we're just not sure what. So where do we fit in? Your mission is to go undercover as the opening act on his world tour and find out exactly what it is about Ricky Mathis that makes his fans so... fanatical. You mean, we get to be in a real band? A real pretend one. This is so perfect! When Damon finds out, he'll toss Mandy like a day-old muffin and come running straight to me. He'll see me as his musical equal. I'll be irresistible! Now, all we need is a name. Actually, ladies, we've already taken care of your name. We're called the Spies? That is so lame. Yeah, totally unimaginative. It was my idea. Oh! <laughs> hey, look at these cool instruments. Perhaps now isn't the best time for you to <laughs> practice. Now, where will we? The drop is ready, sir. Oh, yes, the gear. This week you'll be utilizing the expandable cable bungee belt, the wind tunnel 3000 tornado blast hairdryer, the suction cup bottomed go go boot, the ultra sensitive earring microphone, and my personal favorite, a potty. A whaty? No, no, not up whaty, up whaty. Underwater power walking apparatus that's inconspicuous. Now, goodbye and good luck, ladies. Or as they say in showbiz, break a leg. Wow, look! We have fans already! Hey, you're not Ricky! Oh, that's not him! Wow. I guess Ricky Mathis is popular. Wow! I can't wait to 
tell Damon about this? He'll be so impressed with me. Is that all she thinks about? Hello? Hi, Damon. It's Clover. Just thought I'd call to see what's happening stateside. I don't know what's going on stateside, but I'm hanging out at the mall. So what's up with you, Clover? Oh, oh the usual. <gasps> well, Dan, the spies is touring with Ricky Mathis. We're just hanging out at our extravagant from Glamorous Hotel in London right now. Whoa, you're on tour with Ricky Mathis? I had no idea you were even in a band. Oh, yeah. I'm quite an accomplished guitarist. <laughs> Wow, awesome. Hey, like maybe when you get back we can get together and, you know, jam or something. I could probably squeeze you in next week. I'll let you know. Bye. You must be the spies. Spies? That's ridiculous. Who told you we were spies? Yes, that's us, the spies. We rock. Well, I am Phil Jenkins, the tour manager. Ricky's very anxious to meet you. What do you say we head up to the penthouse? Great song. Thanks. I just wrote it. We're scheduled to record Ricky's new song tomorrow morning. I'm sure it's going to be his next big hit. We're sure it will be, too. We're thrilled to be touring with such great musical talent. The feeling's mutual. I just adore your early work. We have early work? Hey, you guys should come to the recording studio and hang out. It'll be a blast. Uh, sorry, Ricky. Your recording sessions are strictly off limits. This sounds like fun. We'd love to go. Great. Uh, okay, everybody. We don't want to keep those hungry fans waiting. Oopsie! Hmm. That's weird. Since when do CDs glow? So, besides the fact that he has totally crazed fans and glowing CDs, Ricky seems pretty normal to me. Ow! Well, here goes nothing. You ready, Clover? Clover? Clover, you are not supposed to be listening to music. You are supposed to be playing it. Besides, I took Ricky's CD for evidence. Too bad, because I totally dig it. It's really infectious. Wow! Hey, we sound great! Yeah, that's because the music's pre-recorded. In case you haven't noticed, none of us are singing, and your guitars aren't even hooked up to amplifiers. This thing won't be wanting an encore. Nice job lip-syncing. Took me forever to get it right. You lip-sync, Ricky? I don't like to, but Phil insists that I don't sing live. I guess I can't argue with success. So much for the theory about Ricky being normal. The guy doesn't even sing. It's not the only thing that isn't normal. Check that out, girls. What do you say we go grab a spy's eye view? Good idea. Clover, you coming? Are you crazy? I've got a killer view right here. It's spy time. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Sebastian. Everything is a go for tomorrow's recording session. And I've prepared the, uh, special lyrics. Unfortunately, Ricky invited those pesky spies to come in. We'll have to keep tight security. Huh? Uh oh, uh, hey, 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 girls, what's wrong? Uh, aren't you having fun? Hey! I think I've gone deaf! <laughs> Actually, the booth is, uh, soundproof. The noise night after night gives me a, a headache. I prefer just to watch. So, let's review. Ricky's fans are nuts, his CDs glow, he doesn't sing, and his manager sits in a soundproof booth during his shows. Getting freaky. What do you think, Clover? I think Ricky was incredible. I mean, he's so talented. I could just listen to him all night. Must wow. hear Ricky. Okay, this is weird. Maybe we should check it out with Jerry? Hello, ladies. I hope rock stardom hasn't gone to your heads. It hasn't so far, but if we keep getting showered with roses, it might. Oh, those. They were sent by one Damon Reynolds. Hey, Clover! The flowers are for you! Damon sent them! Please, now that I'm involved with Ricky, I'm like so over Damon. 
Oh man, how deluded can you get? Not to mention fickle. So anyway, Jerry, what can you tell us about a Mr. Sebastian? Hmm, it says here he's the owner of Ricky Mathis' record label. Apparently, he used to be quite the successful guitar player before he lost his arm in a freak pyrotechnics accident. <laughs> now, he's an eccentric reckless producer who lives on a remote island off the coast of Brazuela. Ricky! So, who's ready to go to my recording studio in Brazuela? Wow! So I wonder what was up with that strange radio tower thing being strapped to the yacht. Well, Ricky says it's so they can broadcast the concert live. I don't buy it. Since when do you need guards to watch a satellite dish? This is definitely the creepiest recording studio I've ever seen. That was great, Ricky. Yeah, it was totally excellent. Uh, uh, now, why don't we lay down the lyrics? I'm Ricky and I'm your master. Follow me as I spread disaster. Take over huh? the government, do as I say. I'll rule the world and you'll obey. Uh, Phil, I, I sort of didn't intend for the new song to be so aggressive. What happened to the lyrics I wrote? Ricky, trust me, I, I know what I'm doing. These new lyrics will give you a song that hip, edgy feel the kids are so wild about these days. Okay, I'd say those definitely fall under the special lyrics category. All the lyrics Ricky sings are special. Maybe we should take this opportunity to do a little spying. I'm right behind you. I just love it when fashion has a purpose. Laboratory's got to be around here somewhere. Ah! Nice work, Alex. Yeah, any time. <gasps> the new Ricky single is all finished. Excellent. The frequency has been successfully added. Good. Now let's see the effects firsthand. I take it the guy with the scary hook is Sebastian. And I take it he doesn't play guitar much these days. Have a seat. We want to know what you think of this new song. I'll follow you as you spread disaster. Take over the government, do as you say. You'll rule the world and I'll obey. You're dismissed. You're Ricky and you're my master. I'll follow you as you spread disaster. Did you see that? It's like, it's like Ricky's song hypnotized that guy or something. The frequency they were talking about must be some kind of subliminal mind control device. That would explain why Clover's been acting so crazy. Huh? Think about it. Ricky's first song, Rock Legend, is about rock star worship. And what does it do? It hypnotizes listeners into worshiping him. They do whatever the lyrics tell them to. So that means if Ricky performs at the concert, the fans will do whatever the lyrics say. Security, we have intruders. Ah! Run! <laughs> nice gadget. What was that, a portable high viscosity oil cannon? That was no gadget. That was my favorite moose. Expensive, too. You're Ricky and you're my master. Quick, we can scale down the wall. Spies are really spies. How totally lame and unimaginative. Don't blame us. Jerry thought of it. <laughs> Unfortunately, you'll never have a chance to report what you've learned. Because in approximately 20 seconds, the only thing you'll be interested in will be the worshipping of Ricky Mathis. 
Which means that tonight you won't mind when I jam all the radio, TV, and internet signals around the globe. Nor will it bother you when I take control of the world with my newly hypnotized slaves, because you'll be two of them. Enjoy your last moments of free will. <laughs> Great. Now what are we going to do? We can use those to get out. <gasps> no, not like that. be out there playing. Well, we would be, except your good friends Phil and Sebastian decided to lock us in a recording booth and use a hypnotic version of your new song to try to turn us into zombies. <laughs> Alex, fill him in. I've got to get to that radio tower. Now let's go watch the fireworks. using my music to take over some government? Actually, he planned on using you to rule the world. Weren't you paying attention? There he is! Where's Ricky? He should have been playing by now. This crowd is ready to start a riot. We can't wait. I'll stop the music by remote. Ricky! 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 Time to get rid of those annoying spies once and for all. Up the signal of Ricky's recording. It's not supposed to happen. Quick, turn the monitors off. No, don't shut them off. Ricky's music is so wonderful. You're Ricky, you're our master. You're Ricky, you're our master. Don't worry, girls. We'll take over from here. You're Ricky and you're our master. master. You're Ricky and you're our master. Gee, thanks, Jerry. And not a minute too soon, these vicious criminals were just about to force Ricky to autograph their concert t-shirts. I can't believe I fell for Ricky Mathis. I'm, like, so embarrassed. Don't be so hard on yourself. You just weren't thinking straight. Yeah, luckily the effects of the music wore off and you're not a mindless zombie groupie anymore. Hey, Clover, you're back. Uh, did you get my flowers? Yeah, I got them. 
So, like, I was thinking, maybe we could get together and you could tell me all about your tour with Ricky Mathis. Sorry, Damon. After the whole tour experience, I'm, like, so over musicians. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Clover. Yeah, you finally come to your senses. I just decided that it's really dumb to fall for every guy with a guitar in his hands. Excuse me, huh? can anyone tell me where the music room is? I'm new and I'm kind of lost. <gasps> I'd be happy to take you to the music room. I guess this means she's back into musicians. Something tells me she never got over them. In fact, if you don't have lunch plans, you can buy me a non-fat latte and I'll give you a tour of the school. Oh, <laughs> my